Hey everybody, it's Mike Wardinsky with NatureMike.com and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add a vignette using only the lasso tool and an adjustment layer in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is select our lasso tool and I'm going to zoom out here by hitting Command minus or that would be a Control minus on a PC and sometimes I like to zoom out uh, quite a bit just so it's easier to draw the vignette inside the photo. So I'm just gonna click in the corner and kinda drag a nice organic shape. Don't have to pay too much attention to what I'm doing here, just something like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is add an adjustment layer. So to add an adjustment layer, simply go down to the layers window, click the adjustment layer icon, and I could use curves, exposure, or levels, but typically I use a curves layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see in the properties window, my curves showed up here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag sort of in the center. Now, the opposite of what I want to happen is happening, but that's okay because it's very easy to invert our mask. As you can see right now, the center of our mask is white and the outside is black. And we actually want the opposite. So to invert the mask, I'll hit Command I on a Mac or control I on a PC. And there we have our vignette. Now the edge is very hard and obviously this doesn't look very good. So if we click on the layer mask of the curve adjustment layer and just head over to feather in the properties window and drag this to the right. Now typically you wanna drag it to somewhere around 500 to maybe even seven, 800 pixels. So maybe something like and I'll go ahead and turn the layer on and off so you can kind of see the before and after. Okay, that looks pretty good. If I wanted to come back and adjust this vignette lighter or darker, that's very easy to do so simply by clicking on the curves adjustment layer and then coming back to the curve in the properties window and dragging it up to make it lighter or down to make it darker. One of the benefits of making a vignette in Photoshop is that it's completely custom. I can go ahead and grab my brush tool, come over to the mask, and just start brushing. Now before I do that, I want to actually open up the layer mask so you can see what happens. So in order to do that, I'm going to option click or alt click on a PC. Now watch what happens. Even though I have a hard brush selected and I'm painting with black on this mask, my brush is feathered because I have this feather already on the mask itself. So if I want to paint onto my layer mask without my brush being feathered, I need to actually create a new group layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this, Command Z. And I'm gonna create a new group layer by simply by clicking on the little folder icon in the layers tab. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this curves adjustment layer with the mask and take it into the group. Now with this new group, I can go ahead and add a new mask. And now I will take my brush hardness down to, to zero so it's soft, but not as soft as the uh, 700 pixel feather that we have down here. And so now I can go ahead and choose my group layer mask and start to brush in anywhere I wanna get rid of that vignette. And you can see when I open up this mask again, that feather is much harder than the 700 pixel feather that we see in this mask. So this is a really good tool if I, again, if I want to mask out some of my sky and let that still be bright while still having a nice vignette around the edges. Now I might come back and paint in a little bit of white here with a low opacity brush, maybe something like 40% just to bring some of that natural vignette back. I don't necessarily want to get rid of all of it. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Using the technique I just mentioned, we can also create a reverse vignette. We can lighten up a part of the image that we'd like. So again, I'm gonna make sure I have my lasso tool selected. And just kind of draw a nice organic shape sort of in the center of the frame where this waterfall is. And again, I'm gonna go down to the adjustment layers. I'll do curves. This time I'm going to brighten the area. 
And I might add a little bit of an S curve here to bring a little bit of contrast in. So you can see this time, instead of just dragging in the center and going up, I'll drag to the right side of the curve, and then I'll come down to the lower left side and drag down just to add some of that contrast back in. Now, again, we need to go ahead and feather this out. So I'll click on the layer mask, just go to feather and feather it until it starts to look good. Maybe somewhere around there. And I'll go ahead and turn this layer on and off. And that just brings our attention to the waterfall a little bit and makes this scene just a little bit more interesting. While vignettes can be really great for landscape shots, they're often really, really good for textures and abstract shots because oftentimes there are no leading lines in a abstract or texture shot. So I already made my vignette on this shot. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Our eyes are naturally drawn to light objects. So by darkening the edge of the frame, we're drawing our viewer into the scene through luminance instead of leading lines. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, of course, remember to like and subscribe. That way I can continue to make these videos for you. And of course, don't forget to check out naturemike.com. See you in the next video.